The success of Oscar-winning film The Silent Child has really raised the profile of sign language across the country in recent months. So much so that people have been calling for sign language to be taught in schools as a GCSE. A petition calling for just that reached 35,000 signatures and triggered a debate in Parliament. Now, 15 years later, it is time to take the next steps uh, in regards for equality and users of British Sign Language. Um, However, the government decided not to go ahead with plans to introduce sign language in schools, saying while British Sign Language is not in the national curriculum, schools are free to teach it if they choose to do so. With the Disability Research Centre saying that one in seven people in the UK now have hearing loss, more and more families are turning to independent groups like Baby Signing Lincoln to help their children learn sign language. Um, I don't have any doubt that it absolutely should be part of the national curriculum. Um, I'm really surprised that it's not already. Um, and really, I think it shows we're being a bit backward about that because... This should have been on the syllabus a long, long time ago. Bethany Blackburn's youngest child, Esme, was born deaf. I mean, the nearest deaf school for Esme would be hours away from here, so we will be putting her into a mainstream school. If sign language was in school, then at least I'd be able to communicate with my daughter right now and teach her what she needs to know. But because I didn't, I can't do that. Sign language has really been growing in popularity in recent years, with Oscar winning films like The Silent Child and parliamentary debates really raising its profile. But now local groups like Baby Sign in Lincoln are calling for it to be introduced on all levels in secondary school and primary school so children like Esme can really get involved with other pupils. Esme is just starting her education, but other deaf students are just finishing theirs. It opens up new opportunities, it breaks down barriers, you can make new friendships and you uh, learn a lot of skills along the way. And some people have said it's just a bit of fun. So there's so many positive reasons. It's kind of a question of, well, why, why say no? You know, they've, they've, they've talked about these hurdles, but these are hurdles that could be addressed. You know, you can get the qualification accredited. It's been piloted, just accredit it, accredit the providers. There's, there's certainly all these things which there's easy solutions for. It just sounds like they just can't be bothered to address the solutions. Conor Cregan reporting for LSJ Afternoon, Lincoln.